Now, two years since the start of storms that brought devastation to Wales, there's a warning that people should prepare for them uh, these sort of storms mm. being a new reality. Yeah, Natural Resources Wales has warned that floods are no longer exceptional events, but harsh new realities for every community. Let's bring in our Wales reporter, Lily Hewitson, about this. Goodness me, that's not good news then for a lot of people. It's a, a huge threat for people to be worried about. Yes, good morning, Eamon and Isabel. Certainly, that is the case. Um, and as you said there, it's a rather worrying claim from Natural Resources Wales today that record-breaking floods are no longer an exception here in Wales. They are the new reality. Now, as you said, this week marks two years since storms Kira, Dennis and George triggered the February 2020 floods, which resulted in record-breaking rainfall and river levels here in Wales just two years ago. Now, these are some of the most devastating devastating cases of flooding that we've seen here since the 70s. There are around 3,000 properties affected across the country. Um, now, not Natural Resources Wales are saying that communities who are not even prone to flooding should start putting plans in place because it could be a possibility in the near future. Now, I had a chat to Jeremy from Natural Resources Wales about the increased risk of rising water. One of the things that we're finding is that people are, you know, maybe forgetting because it hasn't flooded around them recently that they don't think it's going to happen to them. So one of the clear messages with this is, is, it, is that it could do. So one of the things that we're asking people to do, perhaps the first thing that they can do, sometimes people don't realise if they're at flood risk. You can go onto Natural Resources Wales uh, website or .gov.uk uh, website and you can check out whether you're at an, an area of, of flood risk. And then on NRW Natural Resources Wales website, there's all sorts of tips as, of what you can what you can do, uh, including looking at whether you've got insurance for it, and looking at you know if it were to happen, preparing a preparing a preparing a flood plan, for example. So our role, you know, as a government organisation, is to take the threats seriously and and plan for the plan for the plan for the future, uh, investing in flood defences, maintaining those flood defences. But there's only so much that we can do to hold back the forces of nature. It's probably going to happen more frequently and in, in different locations. So people do need to understand and think about the threats to, to them. Just because it hasn't happened, or, you know, doesn't mean that it won't happen. It is important that people think about preparing a flood plan. One of the things that people say you get flooded uh, unfortunately, when it happens, is that it happens so quickly. You know, I didn't, I didn't realise it was going to happen so quickly. You haven't got really got time to react. So, by preparing a, a flood plan, it takes you through the steps of thinking about what you would do if you were to, if you were to get flooded. It's not nice to think about, but it is worth thinking about. Thinking about. So Jeremy gave me some recommendations about what you can do um, if you know you live in an area where you may well be prone to flooding. Now, to start off, it's putting those valuables upstairs, and that's something that we can all can, all can do, even if you don't live in an area that is necessarily prone to flooding. Secondly, if you live somewhere that floods often, you could think about putting wooden floorings downstairs or even moving electrical sockets up the wall, which of course is costly, but could you know save you some money in the long run if your area or business perhaps is prone to flooding sorry um, and today there are a few flood warnings across wales which are worth uh, bearing in mind one on the river d from llangollen to trevallon meadows and in areas surrounding the river y there are a lot of um, rivers which saw a decrease in in water levels overnight but um, it does seem to be rising around the area in hay on y um, so do be mindful if you live and work in areas which are uh, prone to flooding across wales and as jeremy explained it might well be worth putting a flood plan in place back to you Lily, thank you very much indeed. Um, you know, it's interesting. Uh, often it seems the dream to live by a river mm -hmm. or whatever. It is my husband's dream. It's a constant debate. I'm like, no, we're going to flood. Yeah, I, the world's I, changed. That's why I wouldn't yeah. do it. I wouldn't do it at all. And I think throughout my life and the various houses I've been in, just pure luck that I haven't been on a flooding mm -hmm. plane. Mm -hmm. But it's something you've really got really to think of how your life can be impacted. Your Maybe insurance, your you're uninsurable yeah. as well. You might not be able to ever sell, sell your, your property. House, um, whatever, but that, that's amazing.